The initial shock has now turned to scrambling as staff and students at Cardinal Stritch University try to figure out what's next after the school announced Tuesday it was closing for good. Our Bill Miston had the chance to sit down with the university president today about how long they've known the school would be closing. Bill joins us live with more on that conversation. Steph and Ted, President Dan Scholes tells me that this fall, the enrollment overall was up, but the number of undergraduates as a part of that number was actually down. And by January, Scholes says the writing was on the wall that the university would be facing a $6 million projected deficit, a number that was too big to overcome. What happened? It was a combination of events that happened. President Dan Scholes sat down with Fox 6 to talk about what led the university to announce the spring semester would be its last. Even though in the fall our enrollment was overall a little bit higher than we than we had budgeted for headcount, um, we didn't have as many undergraduates as we were anticipating. Short about 40 undergrad students with enrollment at around 1,200 and evenly split between undergrad and graduate students, he says the writing was on the wall. We could see by the end of January of this, this academic year that we were, we were projecting about a $6 million deficit. A big portion of that coming from labor costs for faculty and staff. What was done? We've reached out. We talked about that we had needs for scholarships and all that. We, we certainly, and you have you have to think about this. How how do you message this? The increased need for support um, in such a way that people are really going to want to give um, in a, in a way that can be transformational for us. And tried to get loans, but a stopgap for a trend seen across higher education. It's forces that are in many ways beyond our control. Declining enrollment and less students choosing to go to college. Scholz says a merger was considered, but couldn't be done in enough time and there wasn't enough money. He says downsizing and cuts were considered, but. We've done that, you know, and you, you get to a point where if you reduce so much, you, you impact the quality of the education. And, and that's where we were at. And now working to help students, faculty, and staff and transition to a future without stretch. Now, the university intends on holding job fairs in the coming weeks to help faculty and staff land a job at other educational institutions if they choose to do so. Scholz also says that the university is working as much as it can to help students who are close to completing their degrees. Reporting live in uh, Fox Point, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. And there are some other local universities that are trying to kind of reach out their arms and help out those students who need it. Bill, thanks.